Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Trucker Rudy Show. Let's get our day started today. We're here at the Pilot slash Flying J, the new truck stop. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, we got parking on both sides of this uh, lineup here. And uh, if you drive in over there, there's no way you can make a U-turn over there if people are parked on both sides. So you basically have to drive all the way over there Make a turn and back all the way down and into your spot, whichever spot you want to get into. Very difficult, indeed it is. But anyways, we are getting our day started here. We're just about to uh, leave to go to our uh, delivery place. So let's come right along with me today and let's have ourselves a fantastic day together. Let's, we'll try and give you guys a good show today. That's the goal anyways. So let's do it. So here we go guys. We're putting her in gear. We're gonna get out of here. Let's go deliver our load. Yes indeed. Well, it is a bit of a tight truck stop, but at least it's better than nothing, right? We got a brand spanking new truck stop up here. It's all brand new. It hasn't even been put on a map yet. I mean, it really hasn't. It, uh, I looked in my GPS. It's not in my GPS. There was only one app that it had it in, right? And at first, I wasn't sure if I could trust that app because, uh, you know, you never know, right? You can't always, can't always trust everything that the app say, or even for that matter of fact, of speaking, even the GPS. You can't always trust what the GPS says. And uh, looks like they made a brand new road here going around like this so we can get on the uh, onto the road we need to get onto and the GPS don't even have this road in there either. And my GPS is fairly updated. I mean I just updated it last week before I went out. And uh, supposedly there's another truck stop I believe just down here. That's the old one that it's still in the GPS. I believe I've been there before. I spent the night over there. Yes, indeed I have. I, I remember that truck stop. But uh, yeah, so now they have made this new road here. It looks like a new light up here and everything. Looks like everything has changed a little bit around here. But hey, at least thank you guys for uh, giving us at least a truck stop, you know. I know you probably could have done a better job in uh, making the parking lot a little wider so we could have at least made a U-turn at the end there when you pull in there so we could back her in somewhere you know but no nope, you can't even do that but you know what at least we can go in there we can park the professional drivers can make it happen you know like we can back in there I have no problem backing her in there but uh it would be kind of hard for somebody that's new or that doesn't have a lot of experience of backing in and stuff. You know, I'm talking about maybe tankers or uh, flatbeds or new drivers, you know, that'll be probably a little challenging for them. But, but whatever, we made it happen and uh, I haven't seen anybody getting backed into or getting their hood taken off or anything like that today or yesterday when I was there. So that's a good thing, right? And they do have uh, Wi-Fi in there, like usually they do at Flying J Pilots, right? But they had pretty good high-speed internet there. I was pretty impressed. Managed to upload my one video that I uh, wanted to get uploaded there, so uh, you guys have something to watch. That's right. But anyways, we're going to make our way down to our delivery. We got uh, 29 more miles to go supposed to be there at 9 o'clock so we're not really in the big rush but we do need to get down there right I uh, left myself with 45 minutes to do the 29 miles that should generally be plenty enough unless there's a lot of traffic lights or uh, or maybe accidents or, or some kind of slowdown heavy traffic or whatever you know then uh, that might get a little tight, but we'll see, we'll see, I guess. 
and I'm pretty sure I've been there before but then again I'm not 100% for sure because it's been so long since I've been up here that you know I don't remember the customer's name or anything like that so I don't know for sure if I've been there before but we'll see when we get in there I will uh, we'll find out right but yeah so let's get on down there let's make it happen and let's see what kind of reload we can get us today I kind of told you guys on yesterday's video that we refused that one load so uh, they haven't sent us a new one yet so we'll see uh, We'll see what they managed to find us and uh, I don't do that very often I don't very often refuse a load but when it's a bit of a bullshit load and I don't get paid extra for doing something like that then then I don't want it you know uh, we don't get extra money to haul a dangerous goods loads so that it that in itself always gets on my nerves a little bit and then you expect us to do all this extra work it's a lot more responsibility and uh, all that stuff but anyways we talked about that yesterday I believe so we're not going to make this show about that or about whining and crying and all that shit my channel is about being positive most of the time so let's get back into the positive attitude and it's uh, just keep our fingers crossed so we can get us a different reload right and if not, well, I guess then we'll just have to sit somewhere with a smile. <laughs> yeah. But have you noticed the green grass up here, guys? Look at that beautiful green grass up there. Before you know it, all these trees are going to be nice and green. And beautiful sunshine today, so that's going to help that process, to, you know, even better. It's going to help that process get nice and green everything you know so yeah trucks trucks to Zala is exit 55 all right well I'm not going to that town so uh, we're going to a different town Grand Rapids it is alrighty guys here we are we are uh, back into our uh, dock yeah dock 9 is the one that we're supposed to back into and we're beside dock 10 right so uh, out here we have to basically drop our trailer and then uh, pull out again like we did last week and uh, but it's a different company and so uh, we just have to wait till they open the door that is an indication that we are done unloading so and then we can uh, hook up to the trailer and uh, pull over there right where uh, you might be able to see some other trucks over there where that day cab is right there towards the uh, street there I'm supposed to pull over there and then we can go in the office and uh, go get our paperwork and then we're out of here I have no idea how long it's gonna take to get loaded or I mean unloaded here but oh, this guy is way too much in a hurry man you gotta take it easy buddy wow holy smokes he's <laughs> he's just swinging her real hard there but anyways I'm gonna go in the back there and edit yesterday's video and so that way that's ready to go so uh, we'll be back in a few alrighty guys we are done getting unloaded now now we're going to go and see if we can find this one truck stop that I uh, managed to find that's over here on US 31 just off of US 31 and it just passed uh, highway 6 where I came down on and uh, I said on the other videos there yesterday or the day before even that I didn't know of any truck stop around in Grand Rapids and apparently there is one so uh, we're gonna go check it out and see if we can find it and see what kind of truck stop it is uh, apparently it's a fairly big one too I uh, I didn't realize that there was one I never knew and uh, I got looking there this morning when I was sitting there waiting to get unloaded to see where I was going to go when I get unloaded right because I don't have a reload yet so then uh, guess what I discovered that one so we're going to go check it out and see if it's actually true it actually says there's 183 parking spaces there at that truck stop so 
That is a fairly big truck stop. So we're gonna go check it out. Oh yeah. Definitely. Kind of hoping though that we will get a reload here pretty soon. I still don't have nothing yet. I guess they're a little pissed off at me that I didn't want the other load. But there was another penner here getting unloaded as well. Well, maybe they can give that load to him. Change things around a little bit. Well, maybe he refused it too. Maybe he didn't want that load either. <laughs> yeah, well, it's happening. But whatever, we're gonna go down to the truck stop and I guess if nothing else, we'll go inside and have us breakfast, right? <laughs> Since I haven't had breakfast, may as well, right? Go in and get us a bite to eat. Yes, indeed, that's what we will be doing if we don't uh, get us a reload or ASAP. And I'm gonna go inside and go grab me a bite to eat. I already uh, managed to put yesterday's video together while I was waiting there to get unloaded but it actually didn't take that long like an hour hour and 20 minutes maybe hour and 15 yeah about that and then they opened her up and like they opened up that door like I showed you and that was an indication that I was empty so I went and checked it out and sure enough I was empty so then I had to just uh, slide my axles back to uh, to the normal position at uh, this place I have to slide the ax trailer axles all the way to the back so I slid them back and looked inside the trailer to make sure it was clean and it was pretty good so didn't have to sweep it out well you know these oats loads that we haul they're usually requiring us to have a very clean trailer anyways so you know when I deliver generally they're not dirty unless maybe on if they're on a pallet Maybe then sometimes a piece will break off the pallet or something like that, but other than that, they're they're fairly clean trailers anyways. But yeah, that's what's happening. It's 0.2 so, uh, miles, take the entrance to the left on US 131 South Kalamazoo. I guess we're going to have to go to the, not this light coming up here, the next one we have to go to. So, let's go to that one and then... Uh, Go south over here to our truck stop supposedly so yellow flashing basically means that we are okay to make this turn right that's the way I understand it here we go let's go check out that truck stop see if there is actually something there alrighty guys we have just gotten to this truck stop up here and take a look what we are looking at a very nice classic Peterbilt look at that guys Wow that's something you would almost expect to see at a uh, at a truck show man there's a lot of nice looking trucks out here I seen another one over there earlier too and uh, wow that's uh, that's something eh? Mm -hmm. but yeah there definitely is a truck stop here and uh, lo and behold there's lots of parking here too I mean yeah, I mean, look at over there. You can see there's a bunch of rows of parking and there's one row behind me yet that where you can park. And uh, dispatcher already called me and uh, said, well, we don't have anything else. So uh, they kind of want me to take the load. And I said, well, if you guys want to pay me extra to go around Chicago and, uh, and also pay me extra for all in uh, dangerous goods load, then I'll be up for it. But, if not, then we're not going to take that load. And he said, well, we're not paying you extra for that. And we're not paying you to go around Chicago either. And so we're only getting you paid to go up the northern route. So I said, well, don't forget it. And we're, uh, we're not going to take that load. So, But that's where it's going to be. I'm not going to just get shit on all the time either, you know. That's not going to happen. But uh, whatever, we're going to go inside here in a minute and go have us some breakfast. All right, guys. Not long after I got told that I wasn't going to be uh, getting any reloads today or whatever, we were going to be sitting all day long. Well, got me a message saying, take my empty up here to Chicago area. So that's what we're doing right now. We've been driving for a little while. Hadn't turned on the camera, but here we are. Just, uh, we are already in Indiana. 
Yep. So we got into this construction up here uh, around the mile marker 20 up here in Indiana. Seems like a really heavy traffic up here in this uh, construction area today. So I uh, figured, you know what, I'm going to show you what it's like driving a truck, you know. Sometimes you got to drive in rush hour traffic. It's not always smooth sailing. Yeah, that's the way it goes. I think what we're going to do though is I think we're going to go up here to that uh, Flying J here in Gary, Indiana. And I think I'm going to go fuel up over there. Well, I'm not going to probably fuel up all the way, I think, but... I don't know, I might... I'm kind of going to need a little bit of fuel. I'm going to have to see how far I can get, because I only have... Well, less than a quarter of a tank already, so... Uh, uh, need some fuel somewhere anyways may as well get it today right or get it here while I can right but I don't want to fuel it up all, all the way in case we uh, pick up a little heavier load and uh, I need that extra weight you know so we're gonna play it smart not load uh, load her up too heavy with fuel that way uh, we should be good and I figured you know what maybe I'll put 150 gallons in that'll get me home if they give me a load going home from here and if not from here going home then I guess if we go to Toronto then uh, I guess we'll be uh, fueling up over there to rest right and that's just the way it's gonna be but anyways we'll go down here probably and fuel her up and go from there I don't know if we're actually picking up a load over there my instructions have been go over there and drop the empty that's been my instructions so uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see right ready guys we have delivered our empty trailer up here in uh, Aurora Illinois I believe it's called so uh, yeah we got us a reload offer going to be bobtailing here about 30 miles uh, south and it's going to be a few miles there on uh, I-55 but we got to take this uh, Illinois 59 towards that uh, 55 and a few miles on I-55 and that's where our pickup is and that's where we're making our way down to right now but that load ain't ready till tomorrow morning apparently so oh well I guess we'll go pick up that load tomorrow morning then it didn't give me a time when that load is supposed to be ready it just said tomorrow morning so wherever go we'll do that that load actually goes to British Columbia BC and I asked you know and I take that load straight through I think I've never gotten an answer back so quick on uh, on anything than what I did there that was like almost instantly <laughs> no central needs it in Steinbach all right oh well I guess I pissed them off now they're gonna get back at me I suppose just because I didn't want that hazardous material load well whatever we'll try and get back to the yard and see what we can do from there but it's been raining here uh, ever since I got into Illinois pretty much and uh, yeah so we'll go down there to the truck stop luckily at the same exit that I pick up there's a truck stop there. there's actually two truck stops there according to uh, the program here so uh, I guess we'll go find out which one we can park at. Luckily I'm bobtail, right? So I can pretty much park wherever, wherever I want. So let's make our way down there. All right, guys, we are done for today. We've been sitting here for a little while anyways. 
and uh, I have something to tell you guys well for those of you that are drivers anyways we are sitting here at uh, I-55 exit 240 mile marker 240 and that's right and we got a brain spanking new petrol truck stop yeah I don't know how many parking spaces they got in here but they got quite a few yeah they got well I'm sitting here over where they got for uh, reserve parking over there I don't know if you can see that uh, petrol sign way up there but yeah brand spanking new petrol for those of you uh, that are drivers remember that when you come to Chicago it's exit mile marker 240 on I-55 there's a nice petrol truck stop in here now very nice I uh, was inside there and they said it's only been open five weeks now and I looked in my GPS and I updated it last week and that's how I look Let's have a look. I thought I had it in here earlier. Yeah, I thought I had it in here earlier, but I guess now it don't want to show me that. Of course not. Why would it want to do that, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. I was looking at it earlier. and I thought I saw it in here, but I guess not. But, uh, yeah. I was uh, I was looking in there and I'm pretty sure I was able to see it in here earlier but now I don't want to show me that but whatever that's okay it's a brand spanking new petrol that's all we know for sure brand spanking new pavement everything is beautiful design up here just like the TA petros usually do make a very nice parking lot nice size they make it nice and reasonable where you can back in decent you know not like that pilot where we were last night right you guys remember this morning where I showed you that you couldn't even turn around when you go in so uh, so yeah but anyways uh, that's about all we got today so we are uh, just gonna go ahead and close off this video here now and then I think we're uh, I'm gonna put the files on the computer and probably uh, go ahead and put a put this video together so it can start rendering. So we do uh, get home, we have less rendering to do, right? It's a plan, anyways. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it, uh, enjoyed today's video. And if you did, hey, give me a big thumbs up, share the video. Probably somebody else would like it too. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button right there in the corner. I'll give you updates every single day whenever we upload a new video, right? So with that being said, have a good one. I will catch you right here on Trucker Rudy tomorrow at 2 a.m. Central Standard Time for those of you that are up. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come